Slaying on everything Flirting with your girlfriend, flexing on your everything I see you slaying with a wedding ring And I'ma be the one to tell your wife money isn't everything That's what we say when we got everything I'm giving dick so good, how these hoes doing petty things This how it go, how it go Trying hard for the better thing This how it go, how it go Black cactus on the cold nine Okay, so we're back at it again. What up, man? Adventures, black, the adventures of black nerds. We're back, dog. And I'm just once again, I'm so grateful for the support, and I'm grateful for you guys currently listening. And this is just dope. It is. I mean, our guy Gary V. I, I can't. One day I'm gonna yep. meet Gary V. Yeah, we Gary V. If you're listening, we we want to. Oh meet man, you. he's like, I think he's up there with one of the people I would love to meet. Because he just seems so dope, and he He's always seems like earth. he always got something to say to you. Yep, some type of encouragement. Some, I mean, he, we've seen him encourage little kids. Yeah, so very, I'm, very human person. Um, for everybody out there, please take some time in your life and go search and look up Gary V. And you know, he has daily vlogs. Daily, and he tweets on the regular. He's on Facebook always on the regular. T- Man. He's on Instagram constantly posting videos. He's mobile and he's always uploading and I aspire to my grind is inspired by the way he grinds. Exactly. I think that's the best way to put it. Everybody that follows him would agree with that. Yeah. And and once you watch some of his work and you see how he gets down, you'll you'll know exactly what we're talking about. But the reason I'm happy you brought up, you know, Gary V, because for me, Gary V is a big reason why this started. Pretty much. Because his, his whole thing is do it. Exactly. <laughs> That's what he tells those little ki- the kids that come up to him that want to do yeah. YouTube. They want to play video games. Yeah. He tells them just go do it. Do it. Don't worry about the numbers, which we aren't. No, we're really not. Don't worry about the numbers. Don't worry about your view count. Don't worry about your subscribers. Just produce just content. Do it. We- Good, legit content. How many people do we tell on a daily basis? Yo, keep it up. Yeah. Keep it up, man. I just got into Twitter like that. And everybody I follow that has yeah. on YouTube, it, man, I've told you this before. You liking, subscribing, clicking on somebody's stuff doesn't hurt you. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't, you know, it, it just, even if you, I mean, I would only say like and go support stuff that, that, you, you, su- support that you agree with and you support. Type of things you agree with. But even if you didn't support it, how does that hurt you? Like, basically, I used to go through, and I know there's plenty of people who agree with me. I'll be on Instagram and just scrolling, and just scrolling, and just scrolling. We all do that. And then it, it, it takes something to really catch my attention to, to tap twice. When, if these are my friends or people I claim to support or enjoy or I see them striving for their goals, why is it so hard for me to double tap? Even if I don't look at it. Hey, you like, know, it's just seriously to show that support. Like, hey, keep going. You yeah, know you may not be something I want now or you may not have... Uh, your your song may not be that song that I want to play in my car mm-hmm. or that that video you made or that picture you took. Um, or even if you the, have a different view on something. Yeah, like it's just a matter of like I call you my friend and I'm not saying just because we're friends I owe you something, but there has to be some, it, it literally is tapping your finger. Yeah, but even that, like just showing support, that's, that is a way of showing your support. True. If, if social media is your way to live, Mm-hmm. And if social media is, you know, you may be popular on social media. True. Sure. You wouldn't have added me. Like I seen this girl say this one time. She had 10,000 followers, mm-hmm. but she was only getting like 300 likes. Mm. So she was like, why do I got 10,000 followers? Yeah. I get 300 likes daily from the same people. Yep. Why don't I just, I could just have these three, these 333 people that's liking my picture. True. As my friends. True. Which is understandable. You know what I'm saying? But I mean when you're looking at it like that, I doubt if she would delete those. No, people. no, she's not it's a go numbers game. kill off her source. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's, a numbers it's all game. numbers. But at the same time, if I'm your friend and we friends on Instagram and friends on Facebook, like sometimes people if I if I rock with you, I don't even have to watch your content. Mm. I'll just click on it. Like it. Just out of just subscribe to GP. it and just you know, keep it pushing. Go look to something. Because, that I'm, you and, know? and this is the reason why. And I learned this from you. And this is the reason why I a thousand percent agree with that. It took none of my time. Exactly. I didn't have to go to your concert. I didn't have to go buy a piece of your art. Yeah. I literally either click, tap my finger or click the mouse. Yeah. That's, that's all I had to do. 
in order to help you further along and to help you grow motivate and to motivate and but once again nobody owes you anything Mm -hmm. so i don't i can't get really mad when people don't do it yeah but i just know that once you know better you do better exactly and i know me being in this field now um and me producing content and whatnot how can i not go out and show support for people who are striving and grinding as hard as we are exactly and going through the same struggles if not worse you know Listen, on Twitter, if you look at your Twitter account, I probably like everything that you yep. post. Yep. Vice versa. Yep. And it's on it's not only because I rock with you, like True. you're damn near my brother. True. But because you're grinding just the way like anybody else out here grinding. Yeah. You have somebody out here with millions of followers. You're grinding yep. just as hard as them. So why not? Exactly. Why not? Why I'm not gonna look not? past and I, I I double tap any and everything. I see on Instagram or I'll retweet it's, stuff. It's, it's just, it's really, no it's time. really too easy not to do it. Exactly. And that, and that's the problem. You'll go out and it's so funny. You'll go out and retweet somebody's stuff that you don't even know, mm-hmm. but you won't retweet somebody you actually do know. And you'll even like what they said, Yeah. but you won't ret- retweet it. Mm-hmm. But it, it's, it's, it's a strange dynamic, but once again, nobody owes you anything. I, know. Well, I mean, uh, and, you but, can use Beyonce as an example because okay. Beyonce she got a cult following. Yeah, and the beehive this, is no joke. This actually is going to jump into our topic, but True. before we jump into it, everyone likes Beyonce stuff. Like, and well, I won't say everybody because Beyonce has like four million, four million followers on Instagram mm-hmm. or something crazy like that. But she only get like a hundred thousand likes. Now it's Beyonce. I'm not. I'm not saying nothing. There's nothing wrong with a hundred thousand likes. I wish I could get. I wish. (laughs) You see what I'm saying? So imagine if everybody who follows, who active followers on on her Instagram account, Mm -hmm. would like her picture. True. I have like four million likes a day on every picture that she posts. But speaking of Beyonce, yes, Eminem dropped a new track that you just put me up. Well, I seen it. I just didn't listen to it. Walk on water. It's kind. It was a good. I like the song. You know what? I, but this isn't the first time we heard content like that from Eminem. No, and and you know what? And actually, Joe Budden brought up a good point that he didn't expect anything different from Eminem because anytime he's getting ready to produce a project, he always puts out this uh, cult, not cult classic. Um, he always puts out this uh, radio hit, mm-hmm. something that's going to get a lot of play and something that appeals to a large group of people. It's very palatable. Yeah, okay. Um, well, yeah, it's you're very, right. It's very, it's usually very relatable. It's never, he never, well, not as of his, what, last eight years. Yeah. You know, but in the beginning, he would come out with crazy shit and get on the, you know, and come about and, you know, my name is, but, whatnot. Hey, but, I had to explain that to somebody. Why, oh, why wouldn't we get that type of music from him? And you gotta anymore? grow. I'm like, he growing. He's an artist. Like, and you, think about when he was making that music before, where he was at. Yeah. He wasn't big ball, was, no, superstar no. Eminem. I mean, and he was going through it with his mom, lawsuits yeah. left and right. You know, he was really going through it. So now, when he's straight, when he we don't hear from him, he's good. Financially, mm-hmm. pr- I'm pretty sure. Emotionally, he's probably in a better place. This, that, and the third. He's, he's doing great. Yeah. You should you should hear different a different Just, tone. Yeah, from him. you have to evolve because I would I don't know if I could handle Eminem of today today's Eminem rapping like two thousand early two thousands Eminem. Yeah, I don't think I can handle it in the sense of I'm in a different place. Um, I would hope he's in a different place. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, especially after you've had an album's called uh, Relapse. And mm, you, you know Recovery. What I mean? Recovery. Like, I really hope you're in a different place. <laughs> you know, you had whole albums that chronic, chronicle, that's, you know, tell the story of your journey. Yeah. And I, um, so when I heard this, you know what was sad? My very first thought was there's going to be a whole wave of people who are out there claiming he's doing a Macklemore song, not realizing that Eminem came along and did this type of stuff way before Macklemore mm-hmm. was even discussed. Yeah. But it's just a matter of that gap. Uh-huh. Because there's people out there who don't even understand the hype behind Eminem. Yeah. And that's only because they truly didn't live it. And you can't be mad at them for oh, that. Oh, yeah. That's just like people don't 
I mean, there's we can go on for days about that. Yeah, about that type of stuff before I go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> but yeah. you was on the edge. Yeah, man. I was on the edge. <laughs> but I um that was my first thought is I could just hear the outcry like, dang, why is he jocking Macklemore? I could I could hear it because mm-hmm. it it really does. Mac, you could swap and put Macklemore in that track and it would be just as successful, and only because of the beat. Okay. And the way, and the, right. way the course was delivered. When you, okay, when you say that, it makes sense. Yes. Because I was about That's, to say, I was no, about to jump down no, your neck just now. No, 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 no. <laughs> not, not the content. Mm-hmm. The beat. Okay. And the course. Yeah. I could hear no, you're, Macklemore. You're absolutely correct. When yeah. you say it like that, you make a lot of there, sense. Okay. So get that clear. Yeah. I'm not comparing but, Macklemore but the, to the, minute. See, the content with, with that song, like I said, we haven't, this isn't the first time we've seen it. No, 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 no. Rap God was a faster pace and it was displaying his talents right true but then you when you get a song he did this right before right after he did i want to say it was relapse was the trash album right which it still has some hits on there yeah but recovery then was recovery the was the better one yeah which one was the one i think eminem was it eminem ep or eminem you talking about the marshall, marshall Mathers. Mathers three no was that the, the one Mathers with lp yeah was that the one with rihanna Ooh. I'm friends with the monster. That's oh, all. okay. Was that, was that recovery? I don't Ooh, know. That sounds like a terrible Eminem fan right now. Well, make sure in the comments to correct let us, us know. Yeah, that. correct us. If, but anyway, right before that, I remember watching an interview where he talked about how he, he didn't like relapse. And he, he was talking about how he was at this place where he hated, he didn't like anyone. Where he talked about he didn't like uh, Drake or Kanye because they were on top. Mm. And. That ain't nothing new. That's nothing new when it when you talk about Eminem because Eminem is an MC. True. Like he Eminem could make a song every day if he wanted to. True. And but people to actually, would listen to and it. And people would because he has a cult following. Yep. And Be- he's he's actually earned that. I would say that he's yes. produced enough content to where if he dropped the track every day, I'd give it a listen. I would too. He deserves that, right? Just it's only a select few like that. Yeah, though. where but I would, I'm gonna give it an honest. Eminem listen. jumped on somebody. How many people have Eminem killed on their own song? Very true. You see what I'm saying? Like Eminem is legit. Like he, you, he don't have to explain anything. He nope. just does it. Now with this song, I think it, it answers. A lot of things that he probably was thinking about, especially since he dropped that freestyle. Everybody, people, people dogged him for it, and I mean, I was, I was, yeah, in oh, that no. thing because hey, I no, was we, like, "Yo, it was trash. I dude, didn't like we it." We talked about it and we said it. We were like, "Look, that's not his best work, exactly, in any way, shape, or form." If I had to rank it, it was the it worst, was one probably of his worst one. But content wise, content, and then it, uh, it was a matter. It was bigger than exactly what he said yeah. it was the fact that it was him saying it and when remember when he drew that line he called out his own fans well, that, yeah okay that's but we yeah. once again we're going back into an older you know older episode but yeah. but the thing that I got out of this song yeah but it does have relevant uh, uh, yeah because it, he, it is relevant no, because he talks song. about it he brings it up yeah and my my point and what I got out of the song was how do you beat your own shadow? How do you top you? He's done it though. It's Eminem. Yeah, I'm not saying that he can't do it, but mm. how often do you have when you're the only guy to beat? And then Joe Budden made a good ass point. He was like, "Well, what the fuck? What about the rest of us rappers? What about us? Okay. When you're the pinnacle and you're sitting there crying." And you're sitting there complaining but about this, this, solidif- this is the pinnacle. This solidifies. What are we rapping this for? This solidifies Eminem, though. Eminem could stop rapping today and still be he, considered he, a legend. Dude, he could have stopped six years ago. Yeah, but he, but he would <laughs> still be considered the best of the best. Arguably, True. people yeah. argue number one spot to him. True. Right. True. He all he needs is that conversation. Yo, I, and I it's think all, I want to say he's the number one selling artist. Man, you got to think about this. I want to say that's a fact. You, and if I'm wrong, correct me in the You got to uh, think about comments. it. Eminem lyrically is a monster. Oh yeah, no lyrically, no, no one in like I said, it's arguable. People can argue all day. Oh no, Eminem is, you know, he's number 1 or he's number 2. He's in that top 3. He won. And so commercial-wise, there's no debate. But to commercial think, artists, there's no debate. Okay? But think, but now think about that point you said about what do you do when you're the pinnacle. You got to ask somebody like that. He didn't just sit down. He didn't just say, oh, yeah, I'm, he's not out here saying, oh, I'm about to just run a label now. I want to be a Jay-Z. He 
he's still rapping. Yep. He still wants to rap. Yep. So he and you know they say, oh yeah, you don't. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see Kanye college dropout. Kanye. I do. Kanye is not. <laughs> no, ahead, no. What, the reason why no, I, I say that I is because you. like he's not that same person. Very true. He's not the same person. Yeah. If you get something like where it's, I mean, I mean, just let me get off Kanye for a second. Yeah. Back to Eminem. If Eminem. Puts out fire content. True, it's it's gonna his fans are gonna love it. So when he's sitting here trying to top himself, we should appreciate that. Yeah, we should want that. And, you know, I, it's not like we we telling him no, to do no, it. We no. don't have to tell him to Ain't do no, it. He's doing it his own. But this is this is the meat of it. And you, I believe you're coming from a perspective as a fan. I'm trying to jump into his head. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to. Which I can't because I'm not him. Exactly. You know, <laughs> yeah. but from I'm basing it off of what I heard. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing what now? You know, what, okay. what do you. OK, I mean, let's jump it over to the sports. You're 28 years old and you've all of a sudden had over nine years in the league and you basically are done. What now? Yeah, <laughs> like oh. no, no. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I get what you're saying. It, it's it's that scary factor, and um, and the thing that tripped me out as soon as I heard the song, soon as I heard it, it actually made me think of um, GQ did an interview with Andre 3000. Now we all know Andre 3000 musically has been kind of gone. Yeah, I mean they did a comeback tour in like 2014. Yeah, but this but, is that legend status right here. Okay, Andre 3000 don't have to rap no more. Eminem don't either. Yeah, but but this but listen to this. Mm-hmm. Now I'm paraphrasing, but Andre 3000 basically talked about the fact that he's actually hitting those strides that I'm talking about. Where I don't know if I can. I never thought I was the best. Mm-hmm. I never thought I was as good as everybody claimed I was. I never, you know, and he's hit, and he hit that hole, like, where, you know, I what do I a, do? How do I top Hey Can y'all? you guess why? I can, I can probably guess why. Well, it, I think it's just a matter of getting an overload of everything you thought you ever wanted, mm-hmm. and then realizing, maybe I just want to be able to walk into a McDonald's and buy a cheeseburger. Okay, so. You I, lose reality. I, What's real anymore? Okay, well, I mean. What's you, normal? You can't say that. Well, I, I don't know how they live on a daily basis, but when you when you look at Andre 3000 and Eminem, they're not in the media like that. No, not you at all. You see what I'm saying? Now, when I say when I say that, you ask Now, we're talking about legends here, right? True. We're That's talking about people we're talking about who legends. can argue, no, he's number 1. I'm, Andre 3000 had verse of the year on I still love that song. What was that? What was that song that the marriage song? Oh, oh God! Why are you making me blank? On oh that? man! International players anthem. Oh my God! That was verse of the year on that song and legendary. Yeah. Now, what, what I guess what you can consider like a true hip hop head is you. You go ahead and ask Andre Three Thousand and Eminem, who inspired you, or who's your favorite rap, or who's your favorite or people that you listened to back in the day? They'll tell you. And they'll tell you, oh, these are the best of the best. Yeah. They uh, they would put them underneath them. Them. Because yeah. these are who they studied and who they listened to. True. So this is why I say, or this is why I believe it's like, yo, I'm always trying to, I'm always trying to, what do I do next? You know, y- they're hip hop heads. They're going to always try to think of the next hottest bar or always try to come up with the new hottest style. 3,000. You no, know? he said it. I know. I, it ain't, and that's it ain't the, and easy you know, for he's everybody. the only reason why Outkast hasn't came back together and done, did another album. Because Big Boy is still shooting top Big, albums. Big Boy still top dropping. Tr- yeah, oh, my yeah. God. Are you serious? Big Boy's still him, relevant. Killer Mike, all of them, they still dropping crucial ass music. Yeah. Necessary music that everybody should listen to. Big Boy is raw. Don't dare even debate and try to sleep on it see big boy cds are complete projects I under, raw. man i love big boy and even and Wu, even look, think about what we're talking about now wu-tang just dropped an album yep even I run the jewels. It yet. i'm throwing up my pistol and my fist <laughs> run the jewels is the truth jesus man i don't i don't know. like these people are legends yeah but when i hear a legend still trying to be the best of the best this is where that 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 lyrical competition comes into play mm. like even if you're battling yourself i mean we hear people do it all the time which i think cassidy still had the best one ever mm. uh the cat uh cassidy the problem versus cassidy the hustler mm-hmm. that was amazing 
we've seen T.I. do it. We've yep. seen a plethora of other Another artists do it as well. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So T.I. versus Tim. It's it's like, yo, they're in a battle with themselves. Come see me if you want it. Come get it like the Red Cross, man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that was but wrong. These, <laughs> these is, this is what we want from them. This is yeah. what we want from yeah. them. I mean, we, we speak on this every day. True. So, and then we complain about the new school and all of that. Which... So, I love the new school. I love the new school too. I love, but see, it's I, but to me. See, I, I consider it. Music. I consider it filler music. Yeah. Oh, because I listen to it and yeah. there's another hot one the next day. Yep. You know. It, it, yeah. I'm I off that. track to track. My daughter loves Travis Scott. Okay. I don't know why. She loves Travis Scott and Bruno <laughs> Bruno Mars. Hey, I'm not going to argue we, with her. Travis we, Scott is wrong. We in the car and she she's singing her little heart out to Travis Scott. I get those goosebumps every. I was like Savannah. You singing? She looked back. I, I make she's smiling, and hey. then and then uh, twenty four karat gold comes oh, on. That's my jam, bro. Man, she in there bugging out, hitting them high notes, bro. That's my jam. But I lose my shit to that track. But <laughs> <laughs> any anybody we consider from the new school, there's they. I heard somebody say this. We live in the singles era. We're like, and then no, mm. you know, I heard T. I heard T. Pain say it first. T. Pain said, "I ain't gotta drop no album." Nope. I can just keep doing singles. Yep. And keep getting paid off these singles, keep doing shows off and these keep singles. Keep doing so- shows, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. This new school don't have to rap no more. They don't have to. They don't, they even don't call even... themselves rappers. They yeah. call themselves rock stars. You see what I'm saying? Which, That's cool by look, me. Hey, man. Me, I, I'm i a fan of music. If you give me enough time, I, you can give me just about any album. And when I say any, I you're going to find something to listen to. I like, whether it's a bass line. Yeah. Where, like, I love the Black Keys. You probably don't know who they are. No. They, a lot of their music is featured on 2K. Uh-huh. But you probably heard their song a million times and you don't even realize Man, it. Man, I ain't tell you but, last time I bought the 2K. Oh, we ain't going to go down that road. <laughs> but I just, I love music. Exactly. So, I'm I mean, the same I got way. a picture of freaking the Rat Pack. Shit, up. you got MF Doom yeah, up here. Yeah, I got MF Doom, Rat Pack. Yeah, like, I think you. I tell people about you, and I tell them that you're, you're like your, your, your thing is like underground, like yeah. this, this gritty, boom bat music, which is cool. I get it, and I listen to it too. Oh you my know? god! And I think we, I think we kind of different with that because like you, Zelda's working with MF Doom. I'm sorry. Go, go, keep going. Yeah, you threw me off. My bad. Why'd you do that? I'm so sorry. You were talking about but, Boom Bap Rap and MF Doom. Yeah, but, I mean, they're amazing. Oh, that's where I was at. Well, no, I lost it again. <laughs> well, okay, look. Why'd you do that? My, I'm so sorry. Cause, I was on the road. No, well, you. I mean, dude, you brought up the fact that MF Doom, and I, I just, Hitler Wears Hermes 3 is one of the <laughs> dopest mixtapes I ever heard. <laughs> and set your phasers on stun, King Ghidorah, MF Doom, all caps when you spell my man's name. It is real. It, I will don the mask. It is real. <laughs> it is real. Hey man, listen that that Zars a monster island. I'm sorry. I'm gonna just on. end it by saying, end this topic by saying this. Like with with music, you yeah. you have to evolve with it. And yeah, music is gonna and you gotta always have an evolve. Open ear, man. Exactly. Even oh if this, gosh. even if you're all like me, I'm all about wordplay. But I can go and listen to a little pump. I love Little Pump. I'm God t- bless Gucci Little Gay, Pump. May he, Gucci may he Gay live shit, long and boy. If you don't get forever. me hype, that music get me hype. Oh, man. that music Gucci is Gucci 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 man. Gucci Gucci I, Gucci I, Gucci. I, that music has its pl- has its spot. Yeah, like I don't want to go to the club what? and hear Joe Budden rapping. Yeah, I don't want to hear Pump It Up. Yeah, not anymore. But back then, I back did. then it was dope. Oh yeah, of course. Hey, you know, but you, got you know what? I'm gonna tell you one thing though. I'm gonna tell you one thing about Joe Budden. Joe Budden has always been a dope MC. Hell yeah. Like on our. Are What's the doing? crew called? I forgot the crew. Slaughterhouse. Name. Slaughterhouse. They've always yeah. been crooked. Raw. Crooked Eye. Oh. oh my god. I think. Okay, you know what? That's we're gonna save that for another day. Okay. The best MC out of Slaughterhouse. Oh my oh gosh, god. that is. That's a okay. I I kind of I I would say, I, I, would, I would say who I would I would say who I, you know we'll do that another yeah, day. Yeah yeah. But what I was Total saying Ortiz. was and <laughs> <laughs> hand clap. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing too. <laughs> debate <laughs> over. <laughs> <Joel Ortiz. laughs> I was listening to Joel Ortiz before he was with Slaughter. Yeah, I just you but, know. Um, see, you threw me off again. No, man. no, Dang. I didn't because we were going to transition into talking about how epic Big Crit is. Oh, Big Crit. Okay. Oh, your confetti ain't even heavy, nigga. Oh man. boy. 
Okay, first off, before you go and listen, I want to say congratulations to yeah, Big Crit. Man, I'm glad he's happy. I'm glad he is producing music that Which gets he's, me. He's always been doing. Yeah, he has. But this commercial album is a beast. Yeah, I just I'm I'm glad to see him shining. Yeah. I'm glad to see him up there. I'm glad to see him doing interviews. I'm glad to see him. Yep. You know, it's easy to listen to his past music, but when mm-hmm. he's making music now and making music with every line mm-hmm. is a quotable. Mm-hmm. Oh man. And then I love the fact that he's from the South. Yep. That's he's, what makes it even better. Man, he's from the South ripping and rolling and it's yep. not it is not the same old, same old. You and, know what I'm saying? And his music would fit good as hell in a big old whip and a big old caddy and an old gritty system. I'm telling you. Like his his whole get down from first off, I love a complete I love complete projects. Me too. When when you have a complete project that you get what you're asking for, you 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 get what you hear from beginning to end. Okay. Now I'm not saying you can't have no change, but I don't need three love songs um, then trapping out the bando then uh, you don't need and then the murder the, spree and what, then a love song. What would you song. call that? That's like the that's like, a like the criteria. I yeah, I don't need a mixtape. Yeah, give me a complete story, a complete project. Give me a masterpiece, and he did that. Yeah, um, he gave you everything, mm-hmm. and he didn't veer away from it, and he gave you big crit in its core and at its best. Yeah, I it was. Raw, I think. It, I think. How do you have twenty? What was it? Twenty two tracks. Twenty two tracks. And I like what, twelve of them. Like I, twelve of them are my favorite. Yeah, that's not not Lord like I like. I'm talking like I can like your favorite. Put that in my phone and put on repeat, and they be favorite. okay. Yeah, like they, these these are songs that like you don't want to skip. You always there fast you forward go. to, but it's you you rarely get albums like that. You know, Especially like Especially two disc albums Two disc albums Where it's like They're they're just all hits But even the ones That aren't crazy They're still they're dope They're still dope yes. You know what I'm saying Like It's just the one before It was a thousand times better And I, that's the And that's a hell of a problem my, To have The worst The worst problem I have When I hear a dope song I don't leave it until oh, I, I, repeat. I don't leave oh, it The bro. song Until I know the song Bro Like Like for example Uh Davies Dropped his album Paranoia right Okay Or uh, The Untold Story Something like that and he got a song on there called My Dirty Little Secret. Okay. And it's amazing. Okay. I don't know why, because the song yeah. kind of goes everywhere, but I just find the song dope as hell. Okay. And I didn't, and that's at the end of the album. Oh, uh, I got So you. I heard that song, downloaded the album, and didn't want to hear nothing else. I just wanted to hear that song. Uh, and then I when you. I finally started playing the album, I get to a song called The Heated. It's just like Tony's story. Okay. From Meek Mill, it's just like uh, what was the what was the jo- the Joel Santana the story? Oh yeah, where he had to get his sister. Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's crazy. That I'm like, oh, this song dope too. So Tell I don't leave. My sister, fuck, kill you. No. I don't even <laughs> listen. I don't listen to nothing else yeah, until yeah. I know the songs. So, <clears throat> so yeah, with Big Crit's album, Big Crit, like I couldn't wait to get to the next one. Mm. You see what I'm saying, and that I, I, I had to listen to it multiple times because of that. Like I'm listening to it. Ooh, I like it. What's next? Ooh, I like it. What's next? Ooh, I like it. But it was hard for me to get off of uh, Confetti. I, me I too, could, it was bro, hard for me it, to to skip I gave that it two song. Hand claps and a Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> like it just it, it, it was hard for me to leave that track because that track was so dope. And then it's what is it? The second track on the it's album. The second song on the bro, album. I probably listened to it like five times. Before Your confetti I ain't even heavy, heavy nigga. Man, Boy, when he I said like, when he said that, it hit me a little bit. Like, like damn. Man. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> I heard that album and enough. got motivated. Like, yeah, like, like, I can't even have a ticker tape parade. My ticker tape ain't heavy enough. Damn, nigga. My like, ain't heavy. Man, I was like, damn, Chris, why you got to do it? But but, but real real quick, folks, listen to this album, but also go listen to his older stuff. Go oh, listen to Mount Olympus. You know go what? Go listen to his response to Kendrick. You, like, all it is, which is Mount Olympus. Which listen. Is his response. I just had this conversation, right? And uh, it's about paying homage. True. Right, and uh, the 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 argument that I heard was, well, these kids nowadays they don't have time to go back and and listen to other people's music, and I'm like, the, obviously, obviously the example we used was Yachty and the whole Biggie and Drake thing. So I said, okay, I said, Maybe first of all, yeah, first of all, Google ain't nothing but a word, 
And then you ain't all you got to do is say what you're looking for. Yeah, you ain't even got to type no more. And Google will give you a little thirty second, little thirty second paragraph True. that sums up this person's life. True. Right? I'm not saying you got to call him the best rapper alive. All I'm saying is you got to look at where this is coming from, where hip hop came from. People jump into the game and they think this is what it's about. But some people jump into the game with the style that they think is theirs and it ain't yours. Yeah. And but you can't me, call it yours. But let me tell you this and I'm going to hit you over the head with this one. I'm going to hit you with one I know for a fact. You know Aerosmith songs. I only like I don't want to close my okay. eyes. I love that song. You know who Kiss is. Yeah. You know who Guns N' Roses is. Yeah. But there's people out there where well, let's let's jump it over to us. Um Oh, I can't use NWA. That's not going back far enough. Um, we can use uh, Run can, DMC. Ah, there's people out there who haven't listened <clears throat> to Run DMC. No, I understand that. No, but no, my the point I'm trying to make is, and I'm blanking over here. I'm sorry, folks. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. The, Did point, I do that? the point I'm trying to make is that we as hip, hip most hip hop fans, most rap, most rappers, most rap fans. Mm -hmm. We don't respect our history the way that other musician uh, music genres do. We really don't. Yeah. It's always the decade of now. Yeah, whatever the decade is. Like you can bring up Nelly, people will know who he is. Know who Nelly is? Yeah. You go a little further than further than that, and they might have a hard time. Yeah. There's, pe there's a lot of there's a large portion of people who in the I guess the new generation who probably haven't even listened to Lauren Hill as a rapper. Yeah. People. Not Lauren Hill, not Miss Education, which she yeah she did rap on there, but she had plenty of music I, as a crucial she, rapper crazy before that. But that's my point: is we uh, not we, but as in the hip hop culture, we have a bad habit of forgetting our not knowing our history. See, that's bad. But it's but the trip is, I could probably sing, I could probably hit you with some black, uh, some Black Sabbath, some Kiss. I could hit you with Queen. Mm -hmm damn near all the Queen songs. Yeah. But yet, I would have a hard time hitting Rapper's Delight. But, but see... No, but that's a problem. With that, with people not knowing? No, I'm talking... I'm Yeah, I'm using me as an example. I could do Bohemian Rhapsody to a, to a damn T. Okay. But I would have a hard time doing Rapper's Delight. Not saying I don't know rappers. I don't know the, of the song. Yeah. But it's just more so of... I'm trying to... I'm trying to tie it back to the fact that we don't respect hip hop's history. Yeah, see that's my that's my concern and problem. There you go. I don't think I don't think I'm not saying go out and listen to no, every run DMC no, no, album. No, no, no. Every run DMC song. Are the fab Just boys. know what what they were. Yeah. Just know who where they came from. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean the when boys. when you when you sitting up here and you talking about hip hop, you got to go that far. Yeah. You got to you know somebody like me you know that wants to that wants to know more about it because I love hip hop. But then you get this fast. I, I'm I guess I'm not even a part of that generation. This fast generation who's in it, right? And then, but their favorite rapper or yeah, their favorite rapper or artist now is a Drake. Mm -hmm. You know, which is cool. I don't and not Drake's that Drake's almost, Drake's what damn near ten years in, yeah, if not more. Yeah, Drake so is Drake, cool. Like, like I love Drake. I love Drake's music. Yeah. I'm not saying I don't like his music. What I'm saying is when somebody asks you, or I mean, we we were specifically using the little Yachty incident. Okay. Somebody asks you about a biggie and you you respond the way you respond, you gotta understand why people are upset. Yeah, because and we're you not upset at the, the yeah, we're not upset at the fact that you like Drake over no, Biggie. There's people like it's that. A, it's, a fact it's the that, fact that you don't know you where this is all coming from. This is hip hop. That's the core of hip hop. You, biggie sure. Smalls is in probably everyone's top ten. Beautiful. And he only had two albums. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? And a beat tape. No, like you see what I'm yeah. saying? So you gotta understand where 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 music comes from. Like when you don't when you don't put the work in to know it, to do the research behind it, and the research ain't gotta be extensive. No. I ain't saying going back to go go no. to the streets of Brooklyn where it started from. Go back and meet the. You know, I'm not saying none of that. All I'm saying is pay your homage, pay homage. When, then you gonna get mess ups like Rich Homie Quan. Oh, that was bad. I don't know why he even agreed to You that. see what I'm saying? Like, come like, on. Like, why would you man. do that to yourself? I would have said no. I would have said off, no. They, um, I want to say it, it was either Complex or this college um, doing a um, a bit. Biggie's rhyme scheme 
was innovative in a way where he splits he splits bars. Yeah. So he'll be halfway through his bar and the, it'll be a new bar and he'll finish it in between on the next one. But then the rhyme scheme will still work. Yeah. And it's not just like, with, OK, better example, more recent example. There, I forgot what Kendrick's song it is, but you, I want to say it's rigor mortis. Yeah. You literally can't keep up with it oh, unless you start from the beginning and run with it. If you try to jump in your pitch, it, it, it won't match up because of the way the song, his, his bar scheme in his space. Okay. Like you can't. I'm out of orbit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't do it. So I want to say it was rigor mortis mm-hmm. that I'm thinking of. You know what? Drake and Lil Wayne had a song like that too. All my exes live in Texas like I'm George Strait. I forget the name of that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah fucking right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was called Hell yeah fucking right. Yeah. That song that song kind of did that too. But, well, only Drake's part. Lil Lil Wayne's, of course, he keeps his his core way he raps. But Lil Wayne. I'm so sorry. What I'll never forget when I first heard Money on My Mind. Hand clap. Hey. When I <laughs> when I first heard "Money on My Mind," that's the best Lil Wayne album ever. Changed my everything. I, like I, best rapper alive off the album is oh, the best Lil Wayne song gosh. ever. And with that song, I think it kind of it put him in a area of like it put him at that legendary status because I always go back and compare everything to that. So. Ah oh, man, you got to do your research, yeah, man. Just, There's legends out here that yeah. y'all don't even know about. I mean, Boogie Down Production, Heather B, mm-hmm. KRS-One. Like, there's people even, out there. Even Queen Latifah has Ooh, some she fire, was, Oh, my God. Oh. Wrath of My Madness? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Queen Latifah gosh. was a monster. Queen Latifah was active. But there's a whole... I mean... LL Cool J, yeah, even LL Cool J. People, was there's it's funny. There's a whole group of people out there who only know LL Cool J as a TV like TV star, <laughs> a movie star, yeah. yeah, movie star, TV star. But he first off, he went from hardcore, and yes, he was hardcore rap, hardcore rap, to R and B artist, okay. to member that country couple of <laughs> yeah. We'll stop there, but yeah, don't don't tarnish my yeah, man name. But it just there's so much out there, and we need to respect our music, our. We need to respect hip hop's history and culture the same way. Do other we have a hip hop Hall of Fame? Yeah, we but do. I couldn't name anybody in it. Exactly. Well, I could assume could Tupac's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, as he should be. You but, see what I'm saying? Yeah, but I, but first I don't off, know if he in a hip hop Hall of Fame. But I'm not going to go down the ethnic history of well, hip, rock and roll. I, I don't think and it, blues I don't think it has nothing black. to do with ethnic. I won't say it's anything ethnic with that. I think it's more of because. We talk of and hip hop. There is no color to hip hop. You know, we, we just talked about yeah. Eminem being number one, right? So I don't expect to see like wh- okay. When I don't say there's no color in hip hop, I got you. I don't mean it like oh yeah, it ain't. You don't know where it started from. I got you. You yeah. know, like black people don't rule it like we do. Yeah. Like there's black there's pretty much every art. Most it's probably like one percent. Doom. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, no, I got you. But with like I'm not, I'm not trippy when I hear Post Malone or Machine Gun Kelly. You know what? I actually had a hard time with Post Malone. Post Malone was different I, because I, I had to. With him, it was hard for me to digest. I didn't like his. I didn't like his. Uh, I didn't like his response because it was almost like that culture vulture status. Thing yeah, it was. He, it was borderline vulture. Yeah, when uh, the the whole uh, the the. F- What's the freshman, the double XL freshman team mm, class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I think I didn't really like that too much. But, it, but his music is good. Yeah, I mean, you, I see, sing it in the you, car. Look, how do you argue with good? I like to bounce. Yeah, I like bounce. So if it make me bounce, if it make me groove, if it make me want to blast it in my car, if it make you want to blast it with your windows down, it's good. It's a dope song, I listen and it's to hard it. to argue with it. Um, I just think, yeah, I just don't, I just. Think that we need to pay more attention to what we doing. Yeah, it just it, you, you know have to, and then you got to dig deep, and it's okay. And the history is amazing. It I is. Mean, the history is amazing. You may go not, back and find some shit that you yeah, like. Like, yeah, oh my gosh, man, uh, man, it, it's it's not even it, it's no joke. Just take the time; it's all there for you. And the internet is a wonderful, wonderful, scary place. It's a great tool. Now, changing topics, jumping onto a completely new everything. So, video gaming. Now, demos. 
you remember demos? You yeah. remember getting PlayStation Magazine? You get yes. that disc, yes, and it would have like it'd Tekken have, Two on there, yes, and you, and you it, would be uh, not the barrel, uh, you'd be Jack, yeah, and yeah. you would get like one character, and you get to play that match over and over, over and, and over again, um, or it would have like that video on there, yeah. of the same game over and over and over. Those were amazing. The, Those were dope. But I think we've ruined it. Yeah. I know we're, we're getting ready into that topic. You were introducing yes. this. My, my bad. Go ahead. No, no, no. It's fine because that's, that's perfect because it evolved into this monster where people feel the need. Like, it seems like gaming companies feel the need to give you as close to as possible a finished product as a sample. Mm-hmm. And then they make... Uh, <laughs> And it can make or break situations. And it kind of takes the magic out of everything. You're good. You're right. You're absolutely correct. And I'm going to jump to... Uh, I'll stay recent. Destiny 2. Yeah. I went to E3. Um, I was there. Um, and I didn't get to play Destiny 2. But I got to watch people play Destiny 2. And I remember I talked to you. And, and you were like, oh, how was it? And I was like, it was Destiny. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Like, because once again, all I saw was the shooting, the maps... I didn't get to see any of the technical aspects, which now I would completely disagree. It's not Destiny. It's its own form of Destiny. Yeah. Which is now it Destiny is. 2. Okay. Um, but I'm not, and I'm not diving down that rabbit hole. But my point was. Yeah, you clutched on that one. Yeah, because that's a deep <laughs> rabbit hole. Um, it they, ru- they ruined a lot of games. And then then it comes to question, did you rush this content? Okay. Just to make sure you had a demo. I I see everything you just said right now was everything I agreed with. And that's why when when we decided to talk about this topic, I was I was well prepared. I asked a couple people who played the beta for Call of Duty. Okay. And they said the beta is the game. Okay. You know, we got the game in the beta. Yeah. Like none of this is new to me. The download was All they, almost the same time. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> All they did was they they fine-tuned some guns, they made some stuff better they nerf some stuff they buff some stuff and you know they they the one thing about call of duty which well, this is why call of duty will succeed every year is because they have that professional side to it right they get the advertisement from that and call of duty is special in all of our eyes because it's call of duty first person shooters we always think of call of duty first because call of duty is that like when you want to run around like a chicken with like a chicken with his head cut off, you play from Call of Duty. If you really want to get technical and militant with you it, play you play Battlefield. Battlefield. You see what I'm saying? But Call of Duty is one man army type, sixty kills and sixty and no, thirty four and no, V two rocket. That's Call of Duty. That's that mayhem, right? So when I heard people play Call of Duty World World War Two, and the beta was the game, I was a little disappointed. Now. I personally stopped pay- playing beta. Yeah, I kind of. I walked stopped away playing from betas, it. and I stopped Unless playing betas. Unless you guys want to throw us some to review, but no. that see that's different. Yeah, that's, that's different for work. Now, <laughs> the reason why I say the reason why I say that when I, like for example Destiny Two when the beta came out I didn't play it. Same here. Call of Duty I didn't play the beta Same because here. I'm intrigued for these games. I want these games right, but when I get the game in the beta, why I play the game? You know what? Especially I, if I don't like it. Ooh, you already you lost a purchase per somebody per, uh, not buying your game. Well, that remember that's when they changed the whole get up where you had to pre order the game. Oh, to get the order beta, to get yeah. the beta. That's when they added that hey. because now no matter how you see it, they sold a game. They mm-hmm. sold a copy. Yeah. Your number now counts to their positive. They're they're in the red. Not even if I buy it. Well, I mean, if you but you had to pre order it, so they see their numbers as somebody bought one. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I. I'm the I'm quick to say, uh, you know, pull my five dollars and put it on this, please. <laughs> I'm quick to do that. But they already generated their numbers already at that point by really? the time the game comes out. Okay, I didn't know well, that. We had this many pre-orders. Yeah. Now, how many do you actually sell? Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't really think about it like that. Yeah, I just... that's no. This is why the whole pre-order culture is dangerous. Mm-hmm. It's really, really dangerous. And then, first off, let's be honest. The the con- the stuff that they give you is nothing like it used to be. No, I remember I would go to GameStop and they would have a drawer full of toys, collectibles, T-shirts, hats, and posters. The posters, posters all amazing. type of craziness. Not the posters got smaller. Yeah, everything everything just got smaller cheaper. and cheaper. And now 
you're giving it to us in the form of content, which let's be real, it probably costs you nothing to make. The sad part about it is this content that they give you, you don't end up. It's not end game shit. Yeah, like Destiny, you pre-ordered Destiny two, and they gave you gear that's green. Yep. I ain't gonna use this stuff after I hit yep. level twenty. Yep. So what did I? Half the time you outgrow that shit once you buy, once you get into the once game. Once you start the game, yeah. So when I did that, I was like, oh, I am so pissed off. The one thing I like about pre-orders, especially if it's a, like for example Destiny, I know for a fact I'm about to buy all of these DLCs because I'm a fan of Destiny. I want the DLCs, so I buy the I'll buy the season pass for that because I know I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna stop doing that for every other game. If I know I'm not gonna buy it, Thank, I'm not doing okay, it. Okay, now let me and let me jump on you and give you that reason why you should avoid doing that at all costs. And I jump and I say this all the time. Us as consumers, we need to take hold of our money and really control how we vote with it. Mm-hmm. Because when you spend money, do not kid yourself. By you buying whatever product you're buying, regardless of what it is, you're voting for that product. Yeah. You're saying, I like this product, or it's caught my attention enough to where it's worth me trying it. Exactly. So you're casting your vote. Your vote. Now, however much your vote is worth, it's a different story. Yeah. But that's what you do. So when you go out and you drop 5 to $60 on a game that you have not played or you have not seen a review for, mm-hmm. you're telling them, we trust you. Yeah. Now, normally, that would be okay mm-hmm. because games used to do that. They used to produce. Yeah, there was a couple. There was some flops. I'm, let me not act like back in the day was just the golden age. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to be honest. I've seen some flops. But... I've seen more flops of recent. Yeah. And it's because you don't have to. <laughs> All I got to do is sell you a good trailer. Pretty much. And give you one or two good reviews. some dope cinematics. Yeah. Throw some dope dialogue in there. Oh, my God. Dude, look it's what so. happened to Watch Dogs. Yeah, Watch Dogs was trash. I know but, like bro, shit. they sold that like it was going to be the game of the century. That game was ass. It I brought was that shit garbage. Back. I bought the first one and it, brought that shit the fuck It was back. a cheap. And then I, Cheap, cheap Grand Theft Auto. And then I, and then I had to sell because they had the uh, the pre order for the DLC. I had to find somebody to buy that. <laughs> I had I'm, to, I'm shocked you actually went I had the to, time I, to Craigslist, find man. <laughs> Craigslist, where we used to live at, yeah. man. Yo, I got this season pass, Watch Dogs, and this is when the, the first week the game came out. I played. I got to a level, and I was like, "Man, this game is booty." I took it out. <laughs> he said booty. <laughs> I took it out, put it back in the case, and sold it. And then uh, went to GameStop, sold it. Didn't give my full money back, and then um, found somebody to buy the season pass for me online. But that's what I'm saying. These games. All right. So f- let me use Destiny again. With Destiny, the reason why I give Destiny so much props. Is because they have their developer support behind you. You can talk to a def, uh, Destiny developer. They are going to put an update out every week. True. They're going to fix problems that need to be fixed. And they're going to adjust things that they need to go. They've already announced that. They did that the whole Destiny 1 career. They nerfed some shit. They buffed some shit. They changed the meta every like three months, the metal was changed. Mm-hmm. First it was auto rifles, then that died. Then it was hand cannons, then mm-hmm. that died. Then it was post rifles, then that died. Then it was scout rifles. They see they're there. They're making mm-hmm. changes. They may not hit it. They may never hit it. But they're but always they making changes to it. Now when you get into games like Battlefield One and stuff like that, you're the updates are kind of slow on them games. True. Like they're not active like Destiny is. So this is but why I me- say when I vote with my money like if I'm a vote, I'm a vote with something like Destiny in that regards, because they may hit it one day, yeah. and we may get the best thing possible. But regardless of the fact, you're still gonna play it. Now let me. And I still play Destiny. Now let me let me go on the other end. I'm gonna combat that. Mm-hmm. I think they really dropped the ball, and let me tell you why. It took me five minutes to find a, a PvP match. When? As of recent. Why? Exactly. Nobody's playing. Nobody's playing. Uh Now, how is it that you have an open world, quote unquote, shooter RPG with this great lore, great story, supposedly all these weapons, 
but yet you've had a major fall off on your player base. This is supposed to be a living, breathing world. I can tell you why. Well, no. Let me let me let me finish. Yeah. I'm being being facetious. <laughs> I'm being an ass. <laughs> like you know, I love that <laughs> word. Thank you, Joe Madison. Facetious. Uh, I love facetious. But I'm probably using it wrong. But whatever. But no, it sounds good. It sounds right. <laughs> well, Stephen A. Smith static. <laughs> I indubitably. <laughs> I'm slamming my finger on the counter and everything, folks. I can't get my hairline to peel back that fast. Nah, hell no. But beside the point. Um. Battlefield, mm-hmm. and I'm jumping on what you said. Maybe you don't need that many updates because you did it right out the gate. I don't hear that many complaints to the level that you do. But you never do with Battlefield. Why is that? Because they got it. There you go. They got it. They. But I tell you, I'll tell you this though. How long do you play Battlefield? Oh, only thing that stopped me from Battlefield was I I picked up a gaming laptop. I yeah, but my the if you if you want to talk about numbers and stuff like that, Battlefield people fall off way sooner than Call of Duty people fall off, and Call of Duty's every year. You see what I'm saying? Just like just okay. like in mu- just like in music, we talk about uh, longevity. Battlefield One is an amazing game. It's it's you can some people can call it a classic. Mm-hmm. But not all classic has have longevity in them. Mm. Where you're sitting here, you think all you want to think about is is Battlefield. Mm. The problem with that is because there's other games, bigger names out there bigger than EA True. that are backing it. And second of all, as of now, there's a new game every week. So with there being a new game every week, there's something to try Something There's something else, yeah. new to try yeah. every week. So, with like I said, and then in Battlefield, in I don't well, I I don't know how I want to say how I want to end that point. All I want to say is that I know when I picked up Battlefield, I loved it. Yeah, I always loved it. But yeah, some some reason you're not. Some reason it. I'm not playing it. Some and reason is sitting right there. I got you. You no, see what I'm saying? I'm in the same boat. And then Call of Duty, I pick up Call of Duty now. Or well, as of now, now all I want to do is play it. Yeah. Over Destiny. And I just told you I love Destiny. Yeah. I want to play Call of Duty right now. I want to go home so de- and play. But you know what's so depressing is, the, and I feel, I'm going to go ahead and speak for you on this one, like you're not here. Um, oh, the reason you're not playing Destiny is because there's nothing to play for. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's true. That's true. That, I, I didn't even know, think of, to know, say and that. that's the And that's the point I, I really want to get across. Yeah. That they, there's nothing to play for. And, and speaking of something new being every week, um, you know, transitioning. Um, it's a trip. This road we're going down. Mm-hmm. This this path we've been talking about taking, and we're finally taking it. And we're trying, and we're hitting it full stride. I know I'm busting my ass, and I know you're busting your ass. This whole life of streaming and creating content. It's dope, ain't it? It's ridiculous. It's amazing. I love it. I love the community. Uh-huh. I love. I I've never. I haven't had a passion this type of passion for something in a long, long, long time. Really? Now, it, it trips me out that I find myself playing games not just to enjoy them, but because I need to get my work in. Yeah. Because I need to get my grind <laughs> That's in. crazy, ain't it? I have to I have to get some content out. That's crazy. Like, oh man, I need to I need to stream today. Like it it's it's a different vibe. I don't it's not work, but I'm working at it. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's see, a passion. That's crazy. It's it's not it's that's, I don't I don't dread it. I look yeah. forward to it and I look forward to giving the people I'm like excited you guys, to do it. Yeah, I'm trying to give you the best I got. And like I had a tweet the other week that I said I think it was last week where I said, um got up, check, brush my teeth, Yeah, check, I seen it. Just kiss my daughter, check, call of duty, check. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why I say that is because like when I get on and I stream it's it's something new. Mm-hmm. Like I enjoy getting up and doing that, you know. And I, it's a lot of streamers out there. There's a lot of people you can go and watch. Mm-hmm. And the crazy part about it is, I'll be playing, I'll be streaming, and I'll be watching all at the same time mm-hmm. because it's it's just cool to it's do just it. Something. It's, it's just cool to have that setup and to be able to do that. So I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with doing that because I enjoy it. I like doing it. So I. And then even get going down the path of just strictly streaming, like I'm going to stream tonight. Me too. Me getting on and streaming and playing and people get to see and people, some people may jump in. I may get two viewers. Yeah. 
for that night. But mm-hmm. that's not what I'm looking at. No. I'm not even following the number. Nope. You know, it, this back to our full circle from when we started the conversation with Gary V. Don't said do that. Don't numbers. do it for Just the numbers because you're going to kill yourself. Content. And I'm not looking to grow fast. I'm not looking no, to grow overnight. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to play. Like, and I really, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah. But this is, I truly enjoy this. Mm-hmm. Like, it is, I, I, I know we've talked about it before. Yeah. And I know we've talked about this, but I'm going to reiterate. I really, I really hope everybody listening and just everybody out there gets to experience something and gets to work on something that they truly have a passion for because it feels different than clocking in it feels different than getting a paycheck it's a it's a beautiful feeling working on something that's for you um and you you put your all into it It, it's it's really really trippy yeah like it's it's a i don't know how to explain it man you gotta just you gotta do it like i know that's something that when we started doing this podcast we have a plethora of people telling us, just do it. Yep. Just go do it. Shout out to J Music. Yeah, man. Just do it, big man. Big inspiration. And it wasn't Nike that said that to us. He said that, yo, y'all just got to do gotta it. just got to do it. All you need is two mics, a laptop, and just y'all can go. It. And it was cool. Like, we sat down. We talked about it. We, we were like, yo, we're just going to do it. And we Unusual did it. Suspects is a dope podcast as well. It's go amazing. Check them out. Shout, like I said, shout out to J Music. That He... he I just talked to him recently, and he he said, "Man, keep it up." Yeah, keep it up. And, and those those little those little blurts, the, that little support, the likes, the views, it the subscription, it really, it it makes me want to do better. Exactly. It it really does. Like I and man. we have and just so everyone knows, we have talked about up in our production. And yeah, that will be coming soon. I mean. We do. We both work forty hours a week. Yeah. Yes, so, we do. Uh, upon our forty hours a week, we have another two hours to plan. Yep. And probably another two hours to put. So that's forty four hours, especially if we don't do any overtime. Yeah. So that's oh, like yeah. the minimum right there. Minimum. But you know, j- that's I'm not trying to. No, no. You know, I know. No. But I'm, but, I'm but just going. honestly, what I. What we're trying to do is tell you guys that if you got something you want to do, just do it. Just do it. If you bake, if you, if you brew beer, if you, um, you if you dogs, so, if you breed dogs, dogs if you, whatever you do, don't be afraid to to take it to the next level and really make it and dive in and let that be your passion project. Let that be your your what really is important to you. Cause I know, sum it up in a hashtag. Yeah, hashtag ha- support small streamers. Hashtag support small streamers. <laughs> um, and you know, it, it just it, it's the community is amazing. Um, I love Twitch, man. I, I finally I'm too. finally got my camera up and I've been using it. It's kind of weird seeing your face in a little box Don't while look you're playing it. a video game. <laughs> it, it's super, it's super trippy, but it's it's something there. And you know, I <laughs> I. I love it. I love it too. But now that we're, you know, we 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 talked about that. When, what would you say would be the time to get a a new PC? Okay. Or to even get into to not even dive. get in, just getting a PC for streaming, but a PC for gaming. Okay. Because and it's I I'm happy you brought up that point. It. Okay, guys, you got PlayStation Pro. You got the Xbox One X, codenamed Scorpion Scorpio. You have all these quote-unquote mega consoles but okay let's i'm gonna jump on xbox because that's more so what i know yeah you need a 4k tv you need one to run it 4k oh okay that's so i mean that's the if big, you want to get the 4k if, if you want to get the full experience of your of your xbox one x okay you need a 4K, 4k tv so you're getting ready to buy a 4k tv you're getting ready to spend a minimum of 500 bucks and Okay, thank God that they offer free updates on all the games that are already out that are they're gonna add the upscale, uh, them. upscale them. But my question is, why at what point do you stop playing? Okay, count consoles are starting to come out like cell phones, that's how it looks. That's the that's Pretty the much. route it looks like they're going. Huh. So, my I've always been into console gaming for the simplicity and the equality, mm-hmm. knowing that if I'm on Xbox Live up until 
the last couple months. If I'm on Xbox Live, for quote for the most part, everybody I'm playing against is running the same processing speed. Yeah. It's not a competition of money. It's a competition of skill. Yeah. For the most part. Of course you can add in HDMI cords, TVs, internet, da 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 internet speed. We can we can do that. But I'm talking about core based systems. But now when I turn on my Xbox One, which I got the OG, the first, first, the day one. Yeah. When I turn that on, I'm competing against Xbox One S's. I'm complete. I'm competing against Xbox One X's. Mm-hmm. So now that I want to know how does that affect though? I feel like it has to come into play because I know when I run a uh, when I run a 60 hertz TV versus 144. I know there's an immediate difference. Oh, yeah, difference. You, you feel the difference. There's an immediate difference. Yeah. So to tell me that there's no difference with me playing online with somebody with two tiers higher than me on a system with processing speed and and what was the word they kept using? Uh, gigaflops. Uh, ter- uh, something, there's a word they kept using to describe it, the speed flops uh-huh. or something. So to tell me that that doesn't really have much to do with it, don't worry about it, is bullcrap. And now... Jumping back to what we initially brought up, mm-hmm. when do I just start investing my money into a powerful PC? When do I just start getting heavy into that community? I'm, I'm intrigued by that statement about the Xbox. Yeah, because I wanna I wanna know what what advantage, for example, if you guys are both playing Destiny, the Xbox One X. Is it going to render faster? How does that... Is it going to process that, faster? Are you going to see me before I can well, see you? Well, because aren't, the games are capped... The game itself is capped at whatever frame Well, some games have. are. Well, that's why right? there's some that have the but upscaling. In, in video, in PC gaming... There's none. Your frame rate... You can run games at whatever frame rate your computer can process. If you want to see something crazy, go look at The Witcher 3 on Max, running at Max or Crisis mm-hmm. or just about any game running at max and you'll you'll trip out and what, that's what the ability is there but that's because of the the pc yeah that's right? because it's pc so and it's open P- and you can go and you can have your pc clocking at so many whatever frames per second yeah there's not a minimum now yes some games do have uh caps but can you imagine can you imagine? Well, what are people running on Destiny Two PC? I want to say it's on sixty frames. Oh, they capped it at sixty. Yeah, on sixty PC? frames. Yeah. Okay. Because so, on on system, it's not. It's still thirty now, frames. Now, which is trash. Well, ne- yes. Now, because that's what Battlefield is. Thirty frames. We're not even gonna go down that road. Call, that's but see, that's yeah. another reason why I like Call of Duty is so cool because it is sixty frames. The the movement is sharper when you. Well, move. that's because all that's all you're doing is. Yeah, whatever. We're not gonna go down. We're <laughs> we're not gonna have an argument. We're on today. the edge, dog. <laughs> we're not gonna have an argument today. Um, but this is something that we've really been talking about. And if you guys have any ideas for like different PC builds and I mean, whatnot, even, but I know if I take two grand, because let's say I want to get me a fifty inch four K TV. Mm-hmm. Let's say I want to get me an Xbox One X, and if I'm going that deep, I'm damn well getting an Xbox Elite controller. You might as well. Or, I'm, yeah. I'm or getting, you might as well get the scuff. A scuff or an elite. I'm getting that. Oh, I'm buying a scuff. So then I'm going to buy. Um, I'm gonna, Well, I might even already have the games because at this point, I don't think there's any brand new game that's came out that's specific for, for the right. One X. And I don't think they're going to release any like that. Um, I want to say they announced. Didn't they, they make a, game, a, a bunch of games backwards compatible? Yeah. They, yes, they did. I thought that was very disturbing. Well,. I ain't trying to play we, the we can, Let's go into that some other day because I got a lot to say about that. Uh-huh. Um, about backwards compatibility. It's killing me. And remakes. But. Um, oh, yeah. I remember. You, well, you, yeah, we did touch on we that. We did touch on it. But I want to. Why wouldn't I just take 2000 and jump and drop it into a, a, P, a okay. rig and a monitor and really get to some some heavy power? Mm hmm. When I'm over here buying low end rates for high end price, I guess because in comparison, all right, you're you're barely competing. Everybody plays. Well, nowadays most games are played multiplayer. Right? Very true. That's the world we live what in. What friends do you, I don't have? One friend that get PC games. I you actually you probably have a lot more than you realize. No. To be honest with you, nah, don't be fooled. What makes you, you have say it, that? Just because we got similar friends on our Facebook pages, and I can promise you they PC game. Really? Yeah, hell yeah, they do. I can. First off, let's take it. Let's take it further back. Respecting our history, how many people's first shooters was on uh, 
PC. Yeah, but that, but those no, are PCs. Of, nobody's even. We don't care about the stats and the and the and yeah, the PC no, build. No, on I know. Those PCs. No, I don't no, play no. My mom, we, I know what you're about to say. What we used to play, uh, Counter Strike. Yeah, Counter Strike. Counter Strike. I, mean, I was uh, always on Counter Strike. What other Battlefield, games? Battlefield 1942. That, like, that was on there. Yeah, look, you're right. We used to play Quake. Like we ran shooters Doom, left and right. Diablo. All, we yeah. ran these type of games left and right. You're right. PC. So to say now, there's a lot of people who still play. They may not tell you, <laughs> but they still run it. I'm gonna tweet that out. Yeah. No, you t- you'd really be shocked. But I just I just want to know this is okay. My my point and I feel like I'm rambling and I'm sorry folks. If I'm going to sit here and spend money on something that's topped off and I can't advance. I'm about to drop 500 bucks when I can get a $500 rig that I can add more to later on down the line and it'll already surpass mm-hmm. what the Xbox One X is doing. Yeah, I, I think you're right. And but the my I, when, the only reason why I say that is because I mean the way the way of the world we're just progressing. Yeah. Right? Console gaming is like you said, it's simple. They're start it's, Why would it you, used to be? It no, used to be. It is. Still, because you got to think about it. As if I'm a, a, a mom and a dad out there isn't going to buy their kid computer parts to put a computer together. Why? When Unless I they just, want them to be super successful in life. I, no, I get you. <laughs> I get you. Yeah. But why, is why king. would I do that when I could just hear... Here's, here's a box. Just plug it in and you got it. And you got it. You know yep. what I'm saying? That's, and that's, that's why, that. And that's why console will never go away. But when you start... Why are, why are console gaming trying to compete with PC? That's what it feels like. They and, it, and I don't like it. Because when you start talking about... And even they with won't Meshing win. of Worlds, when you got Xbox doing cross-play with PC, PC. you're dipping into some... I don't want to cross-play with PC players yeah. on my weak-ass Xbox. I don't think I want to do, do that I do not want to be in the server with you hey, and your powerful-ass PC. crazy thing you should do is watch somebody play on PC. Watch somebody play Destiny. It looks with like they're con- playing Quake, bro. Yeah, but watch them play with the controller. Oh, what, you know how it? you know how slow and stupid you look with the controller rather than with a mouse, with and, a keyboard? mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Oh my god, mouse and keyboards look crazy. Yep, they're spinning around. They Bro, jump it shot looks like Quake. It's they look like they're monster. playing Quake. And and for those who don't know, Quake is such a fast paced game. It looks like your head's about to explode. Yeah. And OG OG man, you look like you got to drink three monsters before you can keep up with <laughs> watching it. So imagine taking a game that feels slow on mm-hmm. controller and while you're playing on console. And then you're going and running against somebody at 60 frames per second with a 4K Ultra wobble wobble super blah, thin wide screen curved. curved screen <laughs> sitting here milking you from the other end of the map with a pistol yeah. because they can see you. <laughs> like, like, I like, see your elbow, <laughs> man. Pow, like yeah. you should watch Counter Strike kills. Oh like how they be gosh, getting kills bro. in Counter Strikes. Bro, was is that a, is how, that an Achilles heel? They shoot Nine. the. I see I see the body drop before I see the, the thing Thank pop you. up in the kill feed. Dude, that's what I'm telling you. But you know what? Do you know what, folks? I, <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up before I keep going down yeah, this Yeah, we're about to blow a, blow a, ba- a vein. Bro. Man, because, look. I just, I'm just i just going to say that I think PC gaming is in its own tier. Oh, hell I think yeah. you're going to find a lot of people transitioning into PC gaming. Yeah. Because PC gaming is becoming the next step. People want to take it to the next step. Yeah. That's why, I mean, and console gaming, like you said, won't go anywhere because they're going to always have what that they simplicity. Have. Yeah. You know, as long as then, they keep it that way. And then I think esports in a, in, in general, oh, that's really is going to push. keep it as well oh, yeah. because these systems are specifically, well, I know PlayStation four is specifically being built and specifically being updated and fixed to run these esports games. I mean, Call of Duty most notable. Yeah. The, and the one example I give you is Call of Duty had, or PlayStation, your controller never leaves Bluetooth. Mm-hmm. Even when you plug it in. All you're plugging in and doing is is charging it. Well, I know they rec- I, I want to say it was an update that kind of fixed that, where it took it off of the Bluetooth and it just had it as, because... Because you lose that, that any, lag. Oh, any, that, yeah, that, that latency. Point zero two seconds? Man, if you... Man. Ask any, ask any professional Call of Duty player that plays on console, ask them. Wired I can feel only. it. Yep. I feel it. And I'm like, yep. man, it looked normal to me. <laughs> no, nah, but you can you can feel it. Or that's like, just like when you go from an old TV to a new one. Yeah. I had a I had a friend who had to um he he went to a he was playing on a dope TV for a week 
and he had to stop playing for a while to readjust back to playing on a stand on his standard TV. Yeah, no, it ruined. Man, no. you will mess up your like, whole I, everything. I can't, I can't wait to get a, a a monitor with like oh, yeah, one millisecond now. because I my monitor now is five milliseconds. But one, so imagine if I was at one dog destruction. Yeah, so that makes all the difference in the world. You know, I think for me with this upgrading into PC. I think it's as soon as possible for me. Yeah. Because not only do I get to a chance to dive into something that I haven't been into or I haven't been into in a while and in took serious like as I do yeah. this console, but I also get to be on the next level with everyone else. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I get to be up there. There's people out there with $10,000 rigs, man. Yeah. $10,000? Yeah. Sheesh. But I mean, we'll get there. Look. We're growing, folks, man. we're growing. Hey, we're I'm proud there. of you, bro. Man, proud of you too, man. And I just want y'all to make sure to follow us also on Twitch if you ever get bored and you're tired of watching Netflix and you want to watch somebody play video games. It everything will be in the description below. Yeah. Um my my all my information is under XT Jones on and Twitter, all- Instagram, Twitch, anything you can think of. If you type in XT Jones, mine mine will pop up. And same here, Baron J67. Everything pops up from Twitch. Instagram, all that good stuff. And make sure to click that like button, subscribe, click that button. It's real easy. It's down below. And then also leave a comment. Let us know what we can do better. Let us know how we can grow because we really appreciate the support. And we really do want to be better and we want to get better. Yep, you're true. All right. And you know what, folks? So that wraps it up. Really appreciate you. Peace. Looking like Kimber Rose. Got the fingers all rolled gold. I don't rock Gucci shirt. A motherfucker make his own clothes That's how I go, how it go Whoever said money don't fall Shit, they ain't never lie Real niggas never for the lie